Thanks for joining us today. I'm Tess Diaz, executive producer of DomainSherpa.com, and this is the Domain Sherpa Review. This is a show where we get into the minds of successful domain name investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become better investors ourselves. We have three segments to the review. We'll start off learning what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Next, we'll discuss in value an investor submitted domain name portfolio. And finally, we'll preview some names going to auction soon at namejet.com and whether the Sherpas think they're a good investment opportunity for you. Joining us today on the Domain Sherpa Review are three industry thought leaders. We are delighted to have back, as usual, Shane Coulter of DSAD. Hello, Shane. Uh, how are you doing today? Great. Glad to have you. And Braden Pollock of Legal Brand Marketing. Hello, Braden. Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and super excited, first-time panelist, long-time industry Sherpa, Kate Buckley of Buckley Media. Hello, Kate. Hey, Tess. Happy to be here. So let's jump in. Um, what's new Sherpas? <clears throat> so we're going to share one purchase or sale you've made over the past few weeks. And um, typically, we find out what you paid or received for the domain. And then we really like to hear a little inside scoop on the negotiations. Um, so now, of course, we might have uh, some areas where we can't talk about stuff, and that's okay. We will just work it through and find some fabulous things to talk about. So, that said, Shane, you are up first. What's new? All right. So, I got a bunch of boring sales. So, I will say, I'll buy, I bought a name that was, I thought was interesting. We'll see if they even agree, if they think I paid $3 for it. But I bought Organibus. O-R-G-A-N-I-B-U. Like cannabis and organic. Yeah, like yeah. Okay. Oh, Organibus. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you guys think? So he bought it. He didn't sell it. I bought it. And, and in the beginning, he doesn't tell us, you know, if it was an expired domain, if it was a buy it Bad now it. or what. Um, what do you think, Braden? what do you think Shane would have paid for Organibus? Oh, God. I hope very little. <clears throat> I, I don't want to. Hate's a strong word. And I, I don't want to. Um, I'm a big boy. I can I can take it. Because <laughs> <laughs> fifty seven dollars you paid for. Uh, fifty seven dollars. I don't even know how to spell it. I have to tell you, O R G A N. Yeah. And then what? Uh, B I L or Organa Bus. Let me just. <laughs> you don't, you don't know how to spell it either. You don't even well, know. I can't spell you know cannabis. Maybe, I can't spell cannabis straight up either. Hate is not such a strong word after all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what's what's the minimum on Namejet now? Yeah, it's just like it's $9? just like O R G A N A B I S, organabis. I bus, organ organic, I or organ A B I S. How about that? Organ a B I S. You don't even know you're guessing. No, no, I had to type it out. I type it. I mean, <laughs> this not only fails the radio test, <laughs> it fails. Every t every possible. T what other tests are there? It's gonna how else would you spell it? I don't. Oh, how much time do we have? Yeah. Well, like I don't know how to spell it, and neither yeah. will the. I'm just gonna go and say I'll be paid for it. Then keep going. Okay, I'm literally going to the Who Is to check that you can spell your own name right. No, I know it's right. I checked okay. it. All right, Terrence. Uh, now don't give away all my secrets. People are gonna start tracking me. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. Well, the who is says. I have enough stalkers and haters. You don't have to give out my real name. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure that's going to dramatically change now that you've announced your brilliant acquisition of Organibus. Uh, <laughs> wait till I sell it. I can't wait to come back to this one. This is going to be my, this is going to be legendary. Let's keep can going. We, can we take oh, his it's legendary. Sherpa, can we take away his Sherpa card now? <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. Shane, Shane's screen just goes black. Um, <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or purple. Um, so, Kate, uh, uh, Braden thinks that Shane acquired this for $57. What do you think on today's market would be a fair market price that Shane would pay for Organibus? I, 
hope he did not pay a, a lot. Maybe he paid 150 bucks. Okay. All right. I think, I think yeah. that if he paid $57, uh, he got robbed. And the person that sold to him scored. That's what I think. This domain was created, I'm looking at the who is, created in 2014. Wow. So it has been renewed five times. Um, Shane, where did you buy this domain? So I bought it at expired auctions. Okay. Someone let that go. Can you imagine? $498. Wow. And I will find my email on my $2,000 offer uh, several days later because I got you? into a bidding war with somebody like two or three people. Yeah, I mean, I can go through the scroll, but yeah, it, was, it wasn't only me sitting there. Otherwise, I'd have bought it for $57. Yeah. I, I, I do like it. And there is, if you look up the trade <laughs> and the brands, there's people, the organic cannabis, there's people going organic canna, there's mm -hmm. people going the organic cannabis route. So, yeah. That's true. And it's much better than organic chocolate. It tastes much better. Than <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I guess you are the plant guy, so we will defer to you. Well, oh, it's, plants. it's, you know, there's, there's all kinds of plays, but I will say that most of my plant-oriented brands have been just fine. Uh, you know, this one may be a stretch, because I, I do agree with you on the spelling, but I... I always, when I'm typing out cannabis, even that, I'm thinking, is there an I? You know, I have to type it out to spell it out on, when it comes to canna. So I just say canna all the time. Yeah. On canna. But no, there's, there's definitely a stress. That's why I said it. If I didn't want to be ridiculed, I never would have brought that. <laughs> I'd have and Shane, it X. this is like why we have you on the show all the time. Yeah. Because you're willing to really share your thought process. So how many bidders were there? Uh, oh, there was, there was plenty. Like I said, that's just, that's, I think what's even worse about this is I got into a bidding war towards the end of it. So not only that, not only was there one dumb person, there was two of us going head to head. It was a brilliant, brilliant thing. We yeah, have a neighbor in De Plains, Illinois. Uh, it's Des Plains, but. Oh, yeah. Uh, cause he just registered organibus.com. Just a couple months ago. That's an organic bus, though. That's a totally different thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are in high demand. Yeah. yeah. Shane, know. I will tell you something I do like about it is safety in the cannabis space is everything, right? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, and then right, right now we're learning like the glyphosate and Monsanto with the wheat, blah, blah, blah. And so yeah. cannabis users, smokers, what have you, right? That's a concern. What are they, yes. treating, what are they treating the cannabis yeah. with? Um, you know, there's kind of a safe, there's independent testing companies. So if the acquiring company for, um, uh, Organibus, Organibus does, yeah. does a good job visually branding it, right. And getting the brand story right. Um, particularly if they're B2B, uh, I think it could be good for the right user. Yeah. I mean, it, I, it's a, Organic cannabis is what I was looking for. And it just a name that came up that was in that area. And it's, I don't think a brand is going to be organic cannabis. I don't think that's what an organic cannabis company is going to call themselves. Right, right. So that's what we talk about all the time on this show is generally people aren't going to name themselves after the product. That's not always the case, but there's only one mattress.com. Everybody else is going to have to have a catchy name that sells mattresses. So people that register mm -hmm. all these names with it in the name these companies are either going to pivot or expand and they don't want to be pigeonholed through their name so that's why they're getting a brand that's a first name or a, a fish or something along those lines so that's what i shoot for that's what i'm looking for so they may not make sense to anybody here but it only has to make sense to one person good point and you know, Shane, like this was too good not to have a good laugh over, but I clearly see why you would pay $500 for that. Um, I've paid $500 for a lot worse things, I guarantee. 